So I've made a decision about which Coleco Adam I'm going to be using as my uh, my uh, working unit. And it's going to be this one with the broken door on it. Because this is, according to the serial numbers, this is the newest model. And most likely they have worked out, you know, a good chunk of the bugs out of this unit. Even though it's got the sticker on it that says, uh, you can see it here. This label that tells you not to leave a data pack in the drive or else it'll erase it. But uh, as far as I know, they solved most, uh, you know, most of the problems uh, later on in the run of the Coleco Atom. So basically what I'm going to be doing is fixing the drive in the expansion module with the roller from the one with the broken door. So to do that, we gotta take, start taking things apart. So, let's do that. Pull these lids off and we can put them aside. You know, it's a real shame I can't just take the cover off of this one and put it on here, but it looks like there's absolutely no way to do it. So let's start pulling drives out. Take the screws out. I'm expecting to find a big pile of melted goo inside this drive once I take it apart. Now, this has a little trick to getting it out, and I don't remember what it is because it's been about 20 years since I replaced a drive in one of these. Uh, pull the connectors out. Uh, when you pull connectors out, be careful, please. Uh, try to connect, pull them out by the plastic and not the wires or else you're gonna rip the wires out of the encasing and, well, that's sometimes you just have no fucking choice, though. Uh. Or take a flathead screwdriver and push back that piece of plastic that's holding them in. There we go. Makes it uh, a little better and a little more safer so you don't fuck it all up. The screwdriver's not worth a shit, but we're using it anyway. Okay, we're finding pieces of trees in here, so it looks like they started in their garage. That's always nice to know. So this is pretty much uh, done now. I don't need it for anything else. Now we're going to pull the other one apart, or pull the other one out, I should say. Uh, yeah. Same thing. <clears throat> Nothing different here. <clears throat> there we go. That one came out easier for some reason. If you take a look at the drive here, you can see that the peg that holds the door on is just busted right off. Um, latch mechanism. I can't even replace this top piece here. That Like this drive's just fucked. I'm not going to bother refurbishing this one. So, what, what, what we are going to do is we're going to take the roller out of it and put it in the other one because this one's not got the shit melted out of it. It works very well. This one, on the other hand, oh, yuck, it's, gonna, it's enclosed, which sucks because it's going to be just full of melted, gooey, yucky awfulness. Ugh. All right, take the spacer out. You don't need it for nothing. Um, get a hold on to it for who knows what. All right, so we got our two digital data drives. We have to open this one. Let's open this one and do see what kind of nastiness is in here. Probably a whole bunch of fucking goop that I don't want to deal with. And it's been like 20 years since I've opened one of these. I used to fry the the motors in them all the time by trying to take the tape out while it was still spinning because I couldn't shut the computer off to stop the tape from spinning or else I would erase the tape. And that's how you use a Coleco Atom that erases tapes. So, uh, this stuff comes out here. It's uh, really straightforward. You can pop. Uh, Pop these connectors through the hole here. There's a whole bunch of fun in here. You take this uh, metal shielding off, it looks like. 
This is just a guess. I don't remember how to do this. Take the metal shielding off. Get the screws out of the way. And it's nice to take a video because then you remember how you put it together by watching the video back. All right, and we got uh, another screw here. Fuck, there's a lot of screws in this thing. Hope you're all taking notes, because I'm not. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to put this back together. All right. Holy shit. Well, on the plus side, you can take this connector off here, too. Uh, just remember which way it goes on. Uh, I don't really want to take those ones off, but I might have to. These are power. It doesn't really matter which way you get these ones connected. It's, you know, red, black, red, black. It's obviously power if you want to take those off. And I think I'm going to. But first of all, I take my piece of shit Blackberry, which nobody loves, and take a picture of it. Remind me to do a review on the Blackberry and how much I hate it. There we go. Okay, this is all coming off. Now I got a picture of it. So there's the board, take the board out. And now we just have a really beautiful enclosure to work with here. And a piece of metal shielding. So obviously I gotta take this little cover plate off here, this stupid thing here. So let's take that off. And let's see what kind of a beautiful mess we've got in here. Uh, come on, you bitch, come out. You, you, you. Oh, see all kinds of melted nastiness in there. So what we gotta do is we gotta take this wheel out. Oh my God, well. It's a good thing we're not replacing just the tie the rubber on this thing because if you look at this this indexing wheel and this is actually part of the wheel it's been eaten away by the rubber it's been totally eaten away it's totally fucked so it's a good thing we have extra parts this has to come off somehow some way. Ugh, got it. Yeah, yucky. All right, we got that piece of whatever that is out. If there's one in the other machine, I'm gonna use it because this one's fucked. And the wheel should pop out. We hope. Come on, stupid wheel. Come on, you bitch. There you go. It's popping out. Oh man. So this is the roller. It's totally fucked. Um, it doesn't have the little holes in it to tell you that it's spinning. Or to tell the Coleco that it's spinning. I'm getting goop all over my fingers. Now before we do anything, well, there's a whole bunch of goop in here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a whole bunch of goop in there that, um, there we go, that I need to clean out. That's why we have 99% isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips. And we need something to throw them into, like this box of cereal. Empty box of cereal, because I'm not eating that for breakfast. All right, so get in here with your Q-tip and start cleaning out all the black gunk, which is just atrociously yucky and yucky. Very, very yucky. All right, there's... And you, you gotta keep doing this until it's clean. Alright, that's pretty good. There, she's all clean. And now we just put it aside. Put all this shit aside. Drive number two. This shouldn't be as bad. Because it's not melted to shit in here. Okay, same thing. Take all the screws out. This is, you can, if you look at this, this is a much newer circuit board on here. Look at that. Much, much different from the old one that I just ripped apart. Okay, this connector comes off. This white connector here, you can pull that off. So, there we go. It's off. 
It only goes on one way, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Looks like they did some mods in it. You can see some uh, <laughs> wire wrap wire in here. Yeah, you can unconnect the other one or disconnect the other one. Unconnect, that's a good word. All right, all the heads and shit are uh, disconnected now. Or not, kind of, sort of, not really. And look at that. We have a really nice uh, cover that we can use that's not all fucked up. So we're gonna use that. Open that up, take it off. It comes off nice and easy. Look at that. Just start to be careful because this is the good parts so that we don't want to fuck up. There we go. Look at that. Oh. Well, it looks like this pin should come out, maybe. Look at that. The pin comes out. The center pin. I don't know if you can see that little thing. It's really skinny. So the center pin comes out. There's a couple of spacers on top, which need to come out as well. And now that wheel should pop out like nothing. So what you gotta do is you just gotta kind of slide it out here. Um, it's right here. This fucking connector's in the way. So you just gotta kind of slide it sideways and it'll pop out. And then you can just turn it upside down and it should come out, come out, come out. Ah, there we go. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, yeah, see, it's, you just gotta work with it, be patient, and it should pop right out. A little push in the middle. Hey, yeah. And there we go. I got it out in one piece. I shouldn't really touch the rubber with my fingers, but I am. Okay, so this drive is junk now, because it's, yeah, there's not really much left of it. I'll put it together later, just to keep it as parts kicking around, just in case something else goes haywire. And now, what I gotta do, is I gotta put this roller into the old drive, so it'll work. Take the roller and kind of work it in there without fucking it up. There we go. <gasps> no! Okay. Let's uh, try another method here. Try to push this down into the slot where it reads it. <laughs> mm. Mm. No. No. Go. Fuck. It's not working. It shouldn't be so damn difficult. Okay. You gotta really, you gotta work with it on both sides here it looks like. This is ultra challenging. If you like challenges, this is definitely for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get this uh, metal piece in, tucked in here first, where the sensors are. And it's tricky, very tricky. You don't wanna fuck it up. So you go slow and hope that you don't fuck it up. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Did you see that? I got, you probably didn't see that because it was aimed away. Sorry, I wish I could do that again, but I'm not gonna fucking plan on doing that. Okay, next thing that goes in is the pin. That little skinny pin that you pulled out, that little tiny thing. You gotta stick that in there and make sure it lines up. And goes right in there so it uh, has something to spin on. I think I got it. You get the silver piece of shit uh, that's uh, it, it helps keep the light out that's what it's for. Put that thing back in there so it looks like that. Oh we gotta put those there's a couple little spacers or whatever little tiny washers that go on the top of that pin. Um, this is the challenging part. It looks like a little tiny donut. It's got to go on top of that wheel. Hopefully it's on there. No, it's not. 
There, I got it. I don't know if you can see that. Put the cover on. Two screws go in there to keep the cover on. Oh, that was stressful. It was very stressful getting that thing on. Uh, the notch right here goes where the wires are. And this thing is being an asshole. So we've learned that the earlier data drives are a bitch to put back together. What a shitty design. Fuck you, Coleco. Things are looking better. This hunk of shit just goes in here. This hunk of shit plugs into here. Oh, and we're gonna be praying that it works. Now it complies with FCC regulations. There we go. Hardy, hardy, har. All right. So we got the digital data drive back together. And before we do anything, we're going to see if it works. Grab our beautiful Coleco Adam. Put the drive in here, put it in loose, doesn't matter for the time being. And connect up the connectors for the first data drive. Plug it in. So we're gonna have the moment of truth here. Take a flashlight so you can see if this thing is gonna be rolling here or not. So let's throw one of our spare digital data packs in here. It goes in there really easily, doesn't it? All right, <clears throat> and we'll turn the atom on. It squeals. I may have to put another one of those little spacers on the wheel. This means ripping it apart. Fuck, does that ever make a racket? We know it works. <laughs> so it is reading the tape. That's a plus. Squeal like a piggy. It didn't squeal that time. Let's try and, uh, let's try a different tape. Maybe the tape is squealy. I mean, it's just the drive. I couldn't test this drive. I wonder if uh, this is loose. The, the index wheel's kind of loose. That might be what's squealing. And I can put it to another one of those little, little round spacer things that I, they're microscopic into there, and yeah, it's gonna squeal like a pig. But it is working. All right, I'll do that off camera. Ha ha. At least we know it works.